Hi everybody. I am Leher here from Little Crafts Corner. I live in GK and I have been teaching art and craft for like good 10 years now. So today I will be teaching you all coffee painting. It's something I came across and I completely fell in love with. It's the easiest thing to do and just with a very simple and easy ingredient available at home coffee. So I am personally a big coffee lover and to actually make a coffee painting is therapeutic for me. So I'm going to be showing you a few coffee paintings I made like this. So I have used nothing but only coffee powder here. So these are just some of the paintings I have done with coffee painting. So without wasting any time, I am going to take you further and show you how it is done. So today I have chosen this particular one. I will be teaching you all this particular painting, how to make this. So join me friends as I take you to the journey of coffee painting. So I hope you can all see my screen here. What we will be needing is two brushes, one small, one little thicker. We will be needing a palette with cavities. In case you don't have a palette, you can take small katoris, three small katoris. Then we will be needing some water, a pencil and coffee powder. Okay. So first what I want you to do is, in your palette or your three katoris, put equal amount of coffee. So let's say uh, you can put just half teaspoon, okay? Now my cavities are small so I'm putting less but in your bowls you just put half teaspoon. Three different places. Equal amount of coffee. In case you don't have a palette, you can use a plate. So in the corner of your plate, three different areas, put your coffee. Okay. I am using a pipette but you can just put water with spoons, few drops. So the color of your coffee depends on how much you dilute it. Okay. So in our first box, our first katori, our first cavity, I am going to be putting only 4 drops of water. In the next one, I am going to be putting 8 drops. In the last one, I am going to be putting 16 drops. So this is only an idea and estimate that I am saying drops. But you can just put with your brush, you can put water with your brush. In the first one, very little. In the second one, medium water and in the last one a little extra water. So you will notice where we have more coffee powder and less of water that will be the darkest color. Then this one which has medium water and the same coffee will be a medium color. And the one with maximum water is going to be our lightest color. Okay so we are going to be mixing three different uh, quantities of water. So don't mix them yet. So I am going to start with only the lightest color but don't mix it yet. Let's prepare our paper first. So 
So I'm going to keep this aside. Take any A4 sheet and we are going to be cutting it into half. We are not using the full sheet. This is what we are going to be using half. I am just going to mount it and I am putting masking tape on the all four sides. It's not important to do this step. Only I am doing it. It's not important. If you don't have this tape, it's fine. Your painting and your color will come till the edges. It's totally okay. It will be easy for me to lift it up and show you all. That's why I've mounted it. Okay, and we are going to be making a portrait form, not a landscape form. It is going to be like this, a portrait form. Okay, now what we need is a pencil. So this is the middle of your page, not in the middle, but little below the middle line. Let's draw one line. Make sure your pencil drawing is very, very light. Okay, let me draw it a little darker for you, but you all have to draw it very light. I am making it dark only so that you can see it, but my original line is very light. Then we are going to be making a semicircle here for our sun setting. If you can't draw a perfect, a perfect semicircle, just take a 10 rupee coin, keep it here and draw the circle around it. Once we've done with that, we are going to be making an idea of the grass. This is going to be our grass area. Just at the bottom. And almost after two fingers gap, two finger gap from the corner of the page. We are going to start making our tree. So tree is going to be little curved outwards. Now the tree trunk is broader at the bottom and it gets narrower on top. Yes. 
this is our first tree trunk the second tree is going to be a little shorter than the first one and now let's make the leaves so the leaves are always our branches of this tree are always falling downwards So I hope this much is clear to everybody. Any questions till now? You can just type it down. So the amount of coffee we put in the each uh, in the pallets container is just half a teaspoon in all, but only the water quantity is different. The coffee quantity is the same in all, only the water amount is different. coffee yet i was only on my drawing so after this is done on my final sheet i'm doing a very light drawing which you won't be able to see i hope you have also drawn very light Okay, everyone, I hope it's visible. So we will start with the lightest. Okay, I'm going to repeat the water amount again. So we have put equal amount of coffee powder in all the three containers. Then in the first one, I put only four drops, then eight, and then 16. So I have diluted my coffee powder with different amount of water. In which I put only 4 drops that will become my darkest color. And we will use that in the last. I have not even mixed it. So where we have put more water that is where we are going to begin with. Don't touch the other two. We'll begin with the first one where there's lots of water. So if you see, this one has lot of water. This one has medium water and this one has very less water. We'll be beginning with the first one. The lightest one where there's lots and lots of water. Let's begin with that. So now I'm mixing my coffee with water properly. I'm going to keep my water bowl next to it. I 
have put little bit coffee mixture from this pack, picked up from here and put it in the other container and diluted it more. Because this also looked dark to me, so I have put more water. You know, you can test on a sign, it has to be very light. So this is also dark. It has to be very light. So in case it is dark, just put more water. Alright everyone, let's begin. So the lightest part is our water. It's okay, you can go on top of your tree also. So we are going to be beginning with the water part. I have only dipped my brush in water and not put more coffee and I am only spreading it. So it's supposed to be this light. So we always begin with the lighter shade and then we keep going getting darker. And again going back to the lightest color I made. And I'm going to be filling it inside my sun. Again, the lightest color I've made. So you won't be able to see my drawing because like I told you, it's supposed to be drawn very light. This is the drawing I made to show you all. But you're supposed to be drawing it very light because by the end of it, your, pe your pencil marks will show. So actually my drawing is there but only I can see the drawing. And this is what I made for all of you. Okay, so we go back to the lightest color, which has lots of water and very little coffee. So if you see the first one here, you can make out by the color only. Really. It has lots of water and very little coffee. So that is my lightest color. And now we are going to start with our sky. Now this process has to be a little quick because we are going to be doing shading. So you start with the lightest and then don't even touch these two right now. Don't touch these two. I'll tell you when to touch. So we are only using the lightest color I made and one shade darker than that what I made. So in case you don't have these four, we only made three. The fourth one I made in the end because I thought my first color was also looking little dark. So I added it to the other section and I added lots of water to it to make it more light. I picked up from here and I just added water to it. So we are going to be beginning with the lightest shade on our palette. And this part has to be a little quick. So we begin from the top and we keep moving downwards. As we keep going down, it has to keep getting darker. Please make sure it's blended nicely. Both the colors. As we come closer to the horizon, please be careful to make a straight line around the sun also.
So my shading is now ready. With a thinner brush, I'm just going to give the outlining to the sun. This much instruction is clear. Then again with my lighter color only, I am not, I have not even touched the remaining two colors. With my lighter color only, I am going to be adding little wave effect. So how that is to be added is just lines on your water, make these dash lines. Now these lines have to be made on your water. Very light ones. So just let this much dry. Let's go to our step number two, our second color. Mix it up. Okay, let's do the grass with this. After I've given it a little wavy line, I'm going to be adding grass with a thinner brush. How you add grass is they are just small strokes like that, just small strokes. Your strokes should be sharp, not very long. Okay, I hope this much is clear. Now let's make the tree trunk. Again with the same color, the second color. We're going to be start, we're going to start making the tree trunk.
and the second trunk. Now with this color only, let's start making the leaves. Okay, after we have done that, I want to show you how we do the leaves of that. So if you notice, it starts from the middle and goes outwards. Okay, and similarly, when we start giving the strokes, even they have to be like that from, from the line outwards. Like outwards, they shouldn't be, they shouldn't be straight. They shouldn't be like this and they shouldn't be going down opposite direction so they both are wrong how it should be is this is your line and they should be falling outwards so this is how they should be falling now this is also wrong and this is also wrong this is how it should be Okay, again, let me repeat. Your line comes from the center going outwards. Similarly, your all leaves will be small strokes from the line outwards. From the line, both the sides. Like this. They should not be like this they should not be like this and also they should not be going backwards so this one is also wrong and this one is also wrong this is the right one okay let's do it on a final one now so the second color, we are using the second color and like I told you, go ahead and make these small strokes with a thinner brush. Overlap your leaves. They look pretty. Don't try to keep a gap between them. Let them overlap. And don't be in a hurry. So by now you must have felt it's very easy to make copy painting.
it's only about adding depth and the darker color comes with more coffee less water and the lighter color comes with more water and less coffee We are almost finished with it. Now we have to just go to our darkest color. But for that, let's just uh, let's wait for this to dry. And I'm going to be again using this to make my horizon. So just adding a line here. Now omitting the trees. Up three cube per nine jani line. Up sirf we are going to be making our horizon with the second color. And now with this color only, I'm adding shadow. So generally if you are working under a fan it will dry up quicker. So let's mix the third color now. So you will notice our third color is very thick. It's like a thick paste. Properly grind and mash your coffee powder in it. Make sure there are no lumps. Avoid putting more water because we need this dark color only. But let me show you all. It's like a thick, it's like a thick paste. It's going to be like a thick brown paste. All right, my tree has almost dried. It's still wet, but we'll go ahead and I'll show you the last step. So the last step is we are going to be giving outline to the tree only one side. Only one side. And if we just side is tree ki outlining ki hai, dusri tree ki bhi usi side pe outlining ka hai. So now we'll be able to make out the difference between the two tree trunks. Okay, now let's start adding little shading to our leaves and the grass. So with this color only, we need to add shading to our grass and our leaves of the tree. So let's begin with the grass because my leaves are still wet. So this time my strokes will be little far. They won't be so close to each other because I just want to do it some places, not everywhere.
So I don't want the darker strokes to be everywhere. I am going to be just concentrating on one or two areas. So like I have done under the trees and this corner. That's it. Now let's go to our leaves. Now with the leaves also same thing. Don't do each stroke. Just do it one place. So like I have, I am going to first make the lines with it again. And only on one side. One side I am going to be giving darker leaves. Let one side be light only. So I have let one side be light of the leaf and one side I am making dark. Now with all the leaves, I am going to be doing the same thing. Alright everyone, so it's almost finished and now you can see in your own painting how you want to give the shading effect. So this is something only you can see in your own painting how you want to give the shading effect. I have given you the gist of it. So our coffee painting is finished. We can just add birds to our painting now and that's it. Let's add two small flying birds. From the darkest color. That's it. It's done. It's completed. That's it everybody. So you can follow me on Little Crafts Corner on Instagram and Facebook. And don't forget to tag me. And if you have any questions, I'm here. So you can all show your paintings and uh, tag us. And if you have any questions, please put it in the comment box. And let me know how you liked it. Was it easy? Was it difficult? Okay, any comments? I'm going to be putting my number here and you can ask me if there are any questions.
I am so glad to hear your comments, everybody. Please do please do tag us on Little Crafts Corner on Instagram and Facebook, and you can connect with me if you want to learn more things. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. And I am going to be saying bye now. See you. Keep practicing.